I know I'm a genius, but I don't know if you guys are geniuses along with me. So hear me out. You guys know how in retail there are return policies. Well, it's very evident that retailers across the board, no matter what it is, whether you be a clothing store, a hardware store, grocery store, whatever you are, there are issues with returns. This is something that they're trying to tackle because of how absurd and ridiculous it is. I work retail, I see it firsthand. I see how returns consume my time, my labor, my effort, the arguments that I get into with people and by arguments i mean i'm simply explaining to them what the rules are and some of them accept it some of them don't but basically i just want to express what returns meant to me and have always meant to me and i want to see if you guys have understood it the same way i have or if it's just a vast misunderstanding of how returns are phrased. So for me, ever since I have been a consumer, in fact, let me start a little farther back. Ever since I've been observing my mom as a consumer, I have never known her to be someone who returns things. I want to say I have a vivid memory of her returning two things in her life, and it was because the products were genuinely defective. And if I want to count something even bigger, she had to return a car, a literal vehicle, because it kept dying on her. It had a defect in which the power would just cut off. I forget if it was the battery or if it was an engine problem. It was a brand new 2002 or 2003, I forget, Vitara. She had to return it and they said, yeah, we accept that this is not normal, this is a problem, this is a defect. They had to do the paperwork all over and trade it for the same model, same kind, just a different color. Three times that I can think of my mom returning things, I personally have returned things that I went home and I caught that the item was out of date or something had a moldy spot in it and I didn't catch it until I went home. Things like that, just defects. Now, when it comes to clothes, I have shopped online for items that ended up not fitting me. Say I was buying a one piece of something and my body dimensions are not very consistent. I have size small arms with a size medium chest with a size large waist and thighs but really skinny and thin legs and ankles so basically below my knee i'm like a size small or medium i had to return it and make a better choice something like that but i've been discovering that people have been interpreting returns as use this for the intended purpose and you have the option of not committing to the purchase of not keeping it permanently return it and it's over basically if it's clothing you wear it for the occasion especially if it's an expensive piece like a 500 hundred dollar dress or something wear it don't stain it bring it back and we give you your money back why do people have trouble committing to purchases if you cannot afford a 500 hundred dollar piece and you don't have that many special occasions don't fucking buy it get something simpler so that would be an example of a consumer that has ill intent with their purchases. Now I wonder what category returns fall into overall. Are you genuinely a good consumer that simply has bad experiences often or something truly did not meet your expectations? With that, I can say online shopping is something understandable, especially Amazon. Amazon's marketplace sucks. It's ridden with stuff that's counterfeit. It's not even the original authentic brand in some cases. I can also understand that sometimes what you're purchasing, the seller may not disclose that the clothes are actually in international sizing say an asian size medium is going to be an american size small extra small in some cases something like that in order for you to fit properly you need to order two to three sizes up from the expressed asian size if you want for it to suit you well as an american that's 
the example that I can express when it comes to my personal experience as having returns for things like clothes. But outside of that, I don't have issues committing to my purchases. I don't know if it's because I plan for it or I'm very simple or I am reasonable or what it is, but it's just ridiculous to me that there are people genuinely trying to somehow cheat the system and commit all this crazy fraud with returns and i just want to know if that's really 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 the thing like people are just trying to abuse the system and get by to make money from it somehow or if the way that return policies were phrased was just terrible and it leaves room for misunderstandings and misinterpretation because when i look at them i don't understand what about returning something that has to be unworn and in perfect condition is so sinister to you it is evident that you wore this halloween costume overnight drank beer sweat in it it's dirty therefore it's no longer new why are you trying to return it? I understand that Halloween costumes are hard to keep because every year you don't want to dress up as the same thing. That is your problem. Figure out a way to reuse or sell or donate what you bought. But somehow you want to live the experience with your item, but somehow you want to be able to keep your money. That shit disgusts me so much. Just trying to understand returns, the mentality of the chronic returner. Because I too am a consumer. I don't have returns that often. And when I do, it's because something either arrived defective or something did not meet my needs, which is the sizing situation that I just described. And that's why I try to refrain from shopping for things online. And if I do, I try to read comments or reviews that are more on the authentic side rather than generated by the company or something. So that way I know what to expect. Because I know that even if measurements are provided, it may be a little difficult to know your own dimensions sometimes. Like if something is expressed in centimeters, I'm not going to understand what it is. I'm going to need it in inches and sometimes the conversion may not be accurate in some cases so i just wanted to ramble about returns because that's something that i hate about retail and i don't know if this is an american problem or if this is a worldwide problem but at least me as a worker in retail returns sometimes are harder and more overwhelming than sales and it's gross to me when i'm a cashier that in my mind, I'd be thinking about the things that I scan and how some of those things are going to be returned even though there's nothing wrong with them. So I'm just trying to hear what you guys have to say about that, what you think, what you know, what you experience, maybe you yourself, if you have had returns, what made you return something. And yeah, maybe, maybe I just, my circumstances are different and I truly happen to be lucky often to wear. The kind of clown that I hate seeing the most is the one who goes, so I remember I bought this can of whatever the fuck about a year ago and it was hidden in my pantry and I just noticed it and it expired six months ago. I don't have the receipt. Can I return it or can I exchange it for a new one? No! No! You can't even return things that have been purchased that long ago. Take that ale! You lost it. If it's like a $7 can of whatever the fuck it is, too bad! Plan better next time. A lack of planning on your end does not constitute an emergency on my end. No, I'm not going to give you your money back on $80 worth of supplements when you're telling me that it didn't work for you or that it gave you adverse effects. You had however many capsules or pills you can take in one day worth of opportunities to return this before you ran out to determine that this was detrimental for you. No. Something like that, you can tell that this person wants their money back on empty pill bottles because it's expensive. You want to have the supplement, but you don't want to pay for it. That, to me, is a dishonest kind of customer. So I just want to understand that. How do we get to that? And the loopholes that people think they find on return policies. Yeah, I don't get it.